Welcome to our lecture online. We're now ready to calculate the transmission and the reflection coefficients in the case of a small particle that is incident upon a potential step. Now, we're going to deal with the situation where the energy of the particle is greater than the potential of the potential step in such a way that part of it is going to be reflected and part of it is going to be transmitted. But until now, we figured out the transmission and reflection coefficients in terms of the wave numbers, k1 and k2. k1 is the wave number of the particle on the left side before it gets to the potential step, and k2 is the wave number of the particle to the right of the potential step. Now, it would be better if we express TNR, the transmission and reflection coefficient, in terms of the energies E and V sub naught, because typically that is what we're given in a problem. And so let's go ahead and do that first, and then we'll show you some examples of how to actually calculate the transmission and the reflection coefficients. So let's start with the reflection coefficient, knowing that K1 is equal to this, K2 is equal to this. Let's substitute that into the equation. So this becomes equal to K1 is the square root of 2Me, E being the energy of the particle, divided by h bar, subtract from that k2, which is the square root of 2m, times the difference between the energy of the particle and the potential of the step, also divided by h bar. Then we divide that by the sum of the two. And of course, the whole thing needs to be squared because it's this quantity squared. So right away, we can see inside the parentheses that everything is divided by h bar in the numerator and the denominator, so that cancels out. And we could also divide both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2 times the mass of the particle. So that cancels out everywhere as well. And so let's see what we now have in a simplified fashion. So now I have the reflection coefficient is equal to the square root of the energy of the particle minus the square root of the difference between the energy of the particle and the potential of the step divided by the square root of the energy of the particle plus the square root of the difference between energy and the potential of the step and the whole thing squared. And so this will now be a nice equation to use to find the reflection coefficient if we're given the energy of the particle and the potential of the step. We'll do the same for the transmission coefficient. So here, this is equal to 4 times k1, which is the square root of 2me, times k2, which is the square root of 2mo. And I can't forget, of course, divided by h bar. That's necessary. 2m times e minus the potential. This should be a minus. There we go. And divided by h bar, all divided by this quantity right here, which of course is the same as what we have over here, which is equal to and this whole thing is squared in the denominator. All right. So here we have in the numerator an h times h, or h bar times h bar, which is h bar squared. Here we could factor out an h bar. But since it's squared, it would be h bar squared. So it turns out that these do cancel one another as well because of the square right here. Cancels out the h bar squared in the numerator. And then let's see here. In the numerator, we have a 2m times the square root of 2m. So let me go ahead and work that out. So we have the transmission coefficient is equal to 4 times 2m. The square root of that times the square root of that would be 2m because it's squared, right? We multiply these together, and then we multiply times the square root of e times the square root of e minus v sub naught. And then in the denominator, if we factor out the square root of 2m, since it's squared, that would be 2m times the square root of e plus the square root of e minus v sub naught, and that would be still squared right there. And then you realize that this 2m will cancel out with this 2m, and essentially this becomes the transmission coefficient is equal to 4 times the square root of the energy of the particle times the square root of the difference between the energy of the particle and the potential of the step, all divided by the square root of the energy plus the square root of the difference, quantity squared, and this 
would be a good equation to give us the transmission of a particle when it passes the point where there's a potential step in terms of the energy of the particle and the potential of the step. Now, once we calculate one of them, you can actually very easily calculate the other one because you know that the coefficient for the transmission plus the reflection coefficient must add up to one. So in the case that you figure this first, if you calculate the reflection coefficient first, then the transmission coefficient will simply become one minus r. R. So you don't have to go through both of these processes at the same time. You could do one and then, of course, easily find the other. But then, if you're not sure if you did it right and you want to verify it, after you got a proper value for the transmission coefficient, you may want to calculate it this way to make sure you get the right number. Otherwise, it's easy to make a mistake here. But that's how it's done. And now in the next videos, we'll show you some examples.